Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In this tutorial, we'll be learning to build a face mask detection system. With the COVID-19 pandemic, which started at the end of 2019, detecting whether someone is wearing a mask has become increasingly important for public health and safety. Before we dive into building our face mask detection system, Let's take a closer look at the dataset we'll be working with. The face mask detection dataset has emerged as a crucial resource in the midst of the global COVID-19 pandemic, where wearing face masks has become a vital preventive measure in public spaces. This dataset comprises over 7,500 RGB images, meticulously labeled into two categories, with mask and without mask. With over 3,700 images depicting faces wearing masks and approximately 3,800 images showing faces without masks, the dataset provides a diverse range of visual examples for our deep learning model to learn from. These images were collected from various sources, including contributions from Prajna Bhandari's GitHub repository and additional images curated from online sources via Google search. The dataset's rich diversity reflects the real-world scenarios our model will encounter, allowing us to train and evaluate its performance effectively. In our project, we'll preprocess this dataset, organizing it into training and testing sets, and creating corresponding labels to facilitate supervised learning. With our dataset prepared, we'll move on to building and training our deep learning model, leveraging the power of convolutional neural networks to detect face masks accurately. Now, let's download the Kaggle dataset JSO file and upload it to our collab and we will then copy the API command. pip install kaggle is a command used in python environments such as jupyter notebooks or google collab to install the kaggle api client allowing users to easily interact with kaggle datasets and competitions directly from their development environment it simplifies the process of downloading datasets making it convenient for machine learning and data science projects these commands are used to configure access to the Kaggle API by setting up the necessary authentication credentials. The first line creates a hidden directory named Kaggle in the user's home directory to store the Kaggle configuration files. The next two lines copy the Kaggle.jso file containing the API key to this directory and set the appropriate permissions to ensure its security. This command is used to download the face mask detection dataset from Kaggle using the Kaggle API. These lines of code utilize Python's zip file module to extract the contents of the compressed dataset file named facemaskdataset.zip. The extract all method is employed to extract all files and directories from the zip archive into the current working directory. Finally, the ls command is executed to list the files in the current directory, confirming the extraction of the dataset. Import OS imports the operating system module, which provides a portable way of using operating system-dependent functionality. 
import numpy as np imports the numpy y library and assigns it the alias np which is commonly used for numerical computations in python import matplotlib.py plot as plt imports the pyplot submodule from the matplotlib library which is used for creating visualizations such as plots charts and graphs import cv2 imports the opencv library which is used for computer vision tasks such as image processing object detection and video analysis from sklearn.mo del selection import train test split imports the train test split function from the scikit-learn library which is used to split datasets into training and testing sets for machine learning tasks import tensorflow as tf imports the tensorflow library which is an open source machine learning framework developed by google from tensorflow import keras imports the keras api from tensorflow which provides a high level interface for building and training neural networks this code sets the file paths for the folders containing images of persons wearing masks with mask folder and not wearing masks without mask folder this function load and resize images takes a folder path as input iterates over all files in that folder loads each image using open cv cv2 i am read resizes them to a standard size of 128 times 128 pixels using opencv's cv2.resize function and appends them to a list of images if the loaded image is not empty i img is not none it is added to the list after defining the function it is called twice first for loading and resizing images of persons wearing masks from the specified folder with mask folder and second for images of persons not wearing masks from another specified folder without mask folder creating labels for two classes of images with mask is 1 without mask is 0 These lines generate labels for the images loaded earlier. With mask labels is an array filled with ones indicating images with masks and without mask labels is an array filled with zeros indicating images without masks. The length of each array corresponds to the number of images in the respective dataset. These lines concatenate the images loaded from both with mask images and without mask images into a single numpy array x and concatenate the corresponding labels with mask labels and without mask labels into a single numpy array y this line splits the dataset x and its corresponding labels y into training and testing sets it assigns 80% of the data to the training set and 20% to the testing set the parameter random state is equal to to ensures that the data is split in a reproducible manner meaning the same random splits will be generated each time the code is run with the same random state finally it assigns the training and testing data for both features x train and x test and labels y train and y test respectively these lines print the shapes of the training and testing datasets to confirm that they have been properly split it displays the dimensions of the feature sets x train and x test as well as the corresponding label sets y train and y test These lines scale the pixel values of the training and testing datasets by dividing them by 255 which normalizes the pixel values to the range 0 1 This preprocessing step ensures that the pixel values are within a consistent range 
which can improve the training process of machine learning models. In these lines of code, we define a convolutional neural network, CNN, architecture using TensorFlow's Keras API. The model begins with a sequential container, where layers are added sequentially. The architecture consists of two convolutional layers, each followed by max pooling layers to extract and downsample features. Max pooling involves sliding a window, often called a filter or kernel, across the input data, similar to the convolution step, but instead of performing a matrix multiplication, max pooling takes the maximum value within the window. Next, a flattened layer is added to transform the 2D feature maps into a 1D vector. Flattening is used to convert all the resultant two-dimensional arrays from pooled feature maps into a single long continuous linear vector. The flattened matrix is fed as input to the fully connected layer to classify the image. Then, two fully connected dense layers with ReLU activation functions and dropout regularization are added to introduce non-linearity and prevent overfitting. Finally, the output layer with num of classes neurons and a sigmoid activation function is added to produce the classification probabilities for the binary classification task of face mask detection. I have made a separate video explaining neural networks earlier. Please check out the that video through the link in description below to learn more about neural networks. In this snippet, we compile the neural network model using the Adam optimizer, which is widely used for training deep learning models. The loss function is set to sparse categorical crossentropy, suitable for multi-class classification tasks with integer labels. Additionally, we specify that we want to track the accuracy metric during training and evaluation to monitor the model's performance. In this line of code, we train the neural network model using the training data, X train scaled and Y train, with the specified hyperparameters. The validation split parameter splits a fraction of the training data, in this case, 10%, for validation during training to monitor model performance on unseen data. The epochs parameter determines the number of times the entire dataset is passed forward and backward through the neural network during training. The training process returns a history object containing metrics such as loss and accuracy for each epoch, which can be used for visualization and analysis. Model Evaluation the first line of code computes the loss and accuracy of the model on the test data. The second line prints the accuracy of the model on the test data. In these lines of code, the variable h is assigned to the history object returned from training the model, containing training metrics such as loss and accuracy for each epoch. The code then plots the training and validation loss over epochs using matplotlib with the loss values accessed from the history object. Finally, it adds labels to the plot for clarity and displays the plot to visualize the training and validation loss trends during model training. In these lines, the code plots the training and validation accuracy over epochs using matplotlib with the accuracy values retrieved from the history object. Two separate lines represent the training and validation accuracy, each labeled accordingly for clarity. Finally, the plot with labeled axes and a legend is displayed to visualize the training and validation accuracy trends during model training. Building Prediction System I have downloaded two new images from internet for testing the model. One without wearing the mask and one wearing the mask. We will use our prediction system to make prediction. 
First, let us upload both images. These lines of code perform the following steps. Prompt the user to input the path of the image they want to make predictions on. Read the image from the provided path using OpenCV's cv 2 imred function. Resize the image to a size of 128 times 128 pixels using cv 2 resize to match the input size expected by the model. Scale the pixel values of the resized image by dividing by 255, ensuring the pixel values are in the range 0, 1. Reshape the scaled image into a four-dimensional array with shape 1, 128, 128, 3 to match the input shape expected by the model. Use the trained model to predict the class label of the input image. Determine the predicted label by finding the index of the maximum value in the prediction array. If the predicted label is 1, Print that the person in the image is wearing a mask, otherwise, print that they are not wearing a mask. And there you have it. We've successfully built a face mask detection system using deep learning. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.